Welcome back to Upper Lusatia for the Back to Basics series, episode 19, with me, Mr. Seely P.
So as you've already seen, I have done a contract on field 20 for another farmer. I wanted to get the money up a little bit. I loaded up, or well you saw me loading up, a trailer load of bales. I have cleared them all here. They're all gone. I've left those there. So that's the last load of that lot that were all along there. So, first job. Take them off and sell them. Suddenly dawned on me as well uh, with field 17 that we harvested in the last episode. I'm going to be kind of turning that today. Um, and I should run out of slurry in that smaller slurry tank uh, spreader, which means we can start using the new one, the Modulo 2, which means we can sell that other one. Um, so we'll make a little bit of money back there. And I said in the last episode that um, you kind of get to a point where you don't necessarily need any new equipment. You might change bits here and there. And I had a sudden brainwave. Um, I mean, realistically, if you're playing, like doing back to basics, and this is the whole point being that there's small machinery, small equipment, and showing that you can still make money, you can still make your farm work. If this was like back to like basics, basics, you wouldn't be running five, six tractors. You'd probably have one or two. And there'd be your full back tractors that you'd use day in, day out. There aren't many basic small farms that would be running six tractors. That's, you know, I'm just doing that to show a variety of different tractors and the fact that we can use them all. Plus, I have a bit of a penchant for small tractors. I do like them, the older ones, as I did on uh, the Golden Days of Farming. So, can I these will sell straight away? Or... Yes, they will. So I can get the... No, I must do that wrong. It's straps off there we go so we're up to 322,000 uh, I have also got in the yard let's take this one back in the yard I have got the Massey Ferguson with the farm tech trailer and I've got 13,000 litres of corn in the back of that because Agroma have got a good price on corn at the moment it's up around 900 I think normally it's around 500 ish so it's not a bad price so I'm going to sell that load um, which will bring the money up again, only a little bit. And then while we're over there, we'll get the next piece of machinery that we're going to get. Um, this came after doing Field 17, doing the harvest. I, I hadn't done those strips, that's right, those bits of grass that's sticking out in the field. Um, and when I originally did the field, I, like I said, I don't know why, it didn't dawn on me to um, allow great fields. It just went out of my head I, I really yeah don't know why so uh, so that's what I need to do so for, I'll grab the um, the Weber 6M is it 6M it's a Weber 6 something um, and I'll sort that out but then I thought okay I wanted to get a different piece of machinery another piece another little tractor and I thought, oh, I could use that for ploughing. But then suddenly panicked and thought, I don't think it'll have the horsepower. So I looked at some other options. Um, and that's kind of where I'm going today. You, you'll see what I mean. Oh, I've just realised the other thing I need to do. After buying the sheep in the last episode, I didn't do their water. I filled up their grass, but I didn't do the water. So I'll just quickly quiz through. The fort trip needs a wash. That's in the right state. Uh, where is it? Over here. And with what I'm going to do in this episode, potentially, potentially, I could get rid of that six metre plough. Don't get me wrong, it gets the fields done really, really quick. I don't need to, I can keep it, you know, I just, I'm just thinking, going through ideas in my head, mulling, as I often do. So what I'll do is swing this in, make sure they're topped up. Now, wool production has increased slightly. It's not, you know. But we're not far off two full pallets. I think our second pallet's on 63%. So, like I said in the last episode, we're going to wait for um, uh, the price to come up. Actually, let's check that. I don't think it has... What am I doing? Uh, no, it's not going up or down. That's just sitting at 7.5. That had put me at about 15,000 per pallet. That's not bad, actually. I was saying, different maps, you get different amounts, and I've had way more than that on certain maps. Now, I can fill up from here, which I keep forgetting to do. 
I always make sure I top up the tank whenever I use it so I don't kind of run low. Still doesn't cost me anything. We've got this nice big water uh, reservoir, I guess, yeah, reservoir. So at some point, I will actually get over to um, to where I need to go. Over to the store. Than that. Nice and gently. No sudden movements. Don't want to start with the trailer. Right, okay, that's that done. So, uh, let's put this here for a minute so I can't get into my tractor. Um, my tractor shack. Can't get in there. Let's do this actually. Let's clean this off while we're here. While we're here. Let's get that put away. The reason that's still got narrows on is generally I use that for, um, or I have been using it for the uh, grassland harrow. And when the grass is growing, I don't want it to damage any of the grass that's harrowing, so. Right. Lovely back over and grab the Massey and let's go over to Agroma sell this corn I put the Fort Schritz this is this is my uh, that's my tractor shack this is my harvester um, hanger I don't know <laughs> it's just popping into my head I've no idea what I'm saying so I've got the bice on that side with its header and then the Fort Schritz that side and it kind of that fits perfectly in that gap between the two so it all works out Let's go. I'm going to cover that up so I don't want to drive off and get corn blowing all over the place on the way there. Not that, that would happen, but not in game anyway. In real life, it would be all over the place. So, yeah, we're going to deal with this. Try and sort it out as best we can. I'm trying to kind of work on my, not necessarily work on my thumbnails. I'm quite happy with my thumbnails as they are at the moment, and I think they are improving. I'm getting better at making um, kind of like stickers, so I can add add things onto my thumbnails. It looks a little bit more professional. But when I do videos where I'm supposed to be kind of unveiling a new piece of machinery or doing something different, I have a real bad tendency to show it on the thumbnail. <laughs> Because you want people to watch and think, oh, good, a new piece of machinery, but you don't want to give it away. So that's what I've got to work on. How am I going to do that? Maybe a kind of a tease of a tiny bit of the vehicle, but then people are like, oh, I'm not bothered. So I don't really know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right. Adding a bit more money in. That's where we want to be. It's like 13 something. That's not bad more than happy still loving this massive I really do hope these get moved over um, that the, the modders was it Peter Jane and I modding that did these ones I think it was and these get moved over to 19 I adore the 399 the 399 turbo the sound it makes Anyway, right, so this is what we're going to do. I had a thought. I try not to have too many of them. It makes me dizzy, but, you know, I do have them every now and again. And this is what I thought. Ploughing. I thought, I'll get a new tractor. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I don't think it's going to have the horsepower. So I was looking at the ploughs, and, you know, they're all fairly high horsepower. The bigger you go, the more horsepower. That's why that... Um, that's just not in here, is it? Yeah, it is there. The Weber 6M. It's cheap as chips, and it, but it, it requires 180 horsepower, which is fairly low for the width, to be fair. That's why I got the Fent, because I needed something that could pull that. 
Then I thought, but what if there's another way? And it suddenly hit me. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Under forestry equipment, we've got the Rayboard Xylor, the 1613. It removes stumps and that kind of thing, but it can be used as a plow. When you put the prongs down underneath, you can use it for plowing. And when you look there on the screen, it gives no horsepower requirement whatsoever. I know it's a bit cheaty. It's half the size of the Weber, to be fair. It's only three metres, but like I said, small farm, small equipment. None of the fields are massive, massive, massive. And then the ones that are bigger, I can just set something off and let it chug away, in theory. So the reason I was trying to get the money up was, one, I'm going to get one of those, the Rayboard Xylor. And I'm going to get this for a three point. Now you can go into your workshop and you can change that at any point you want to. So once you've bought it, it's not a case of, well, I've bought it for a three point, therefore I can't use it on another one. You just take it into your workshop at your farm and then you can change it so you can move it about on vehicles. Um, the reason it suddenly hit me was because I thought, well, on the Valley of the Old Farm, I used that on the front of a skid steer loader and that's only 70 horsepower. So if a skid steer will do it, then surely something else should be able to. Now this may all be pie in the sky, this whole kind of me being mysterious and, you know, if I've already shown it in the thumbnail. I'll try to be clever with the thumbnail, we'll see how we get on. So <laughs> tractor-wise, this is what I want to get. I want to get a Fiat Trattori Fiat 120C, an old clanker. I like the tracks, the clanking noise they make. I think this is one of the ones that did. I can't remember if this was the very noisy one or not. I could go horribly wrong here because I used the other tracked fear on the Golden Days of Farming. So I wanted to use something different. Now, the thing with this is, it's 180 horsepower standard. Brilliant. You can get the Fiat 120C turbo, which takes it up to 180 horsepower, which is the same as uh, what that Weber 6M needs. But the difference in price is 26,000 or 55. So you're looking at over double to have that extra 60 horsepower. I'm going to stick with the lower horsepower for the time being. Again, I can always go in and customise it. Standard or with cab? I'm going to go with cab. Don't know why, just am. <laughs> One of those, you know, I just will. So, 27,800, very, very cheap, 120 horsepower tractor. Doesn't have a front three point linkage, it's a slight drawback, but it doesn't matter. Because, to be fair, I'm probably just going to use it for ploughing. Oh man, look at that, it's awesome. I love these. Now, this is going to look massive on the back of it, but it should work. Shouldn't it, in theory? <laughs> we'll see. So, let's hop on board. Oh, listen to that. That's so cool. Now, is this the one that the pedals and stuff move? Well, the levers do, don't they? When you turn, yes. Lights. Oh, I missed a really detailed mod. I love that. See? An old clanker squeaking those tracks. That is actually quite loud, isn't it? Now I know people will say we well, can't just turn the uh, tractor noise, engine noise down, but then all the other tractors will be really quiet. And otherwise I end up going backwards and forwards. Right, so can I raise it? Yeah. So we've yeah. <laughs> Uh, so with the Rayboard Zylor, if I press, I think is it L1 and X? Yeah, those prongs come out the back and that turns that into a plough. And the good thing with this is, because I did a load of logging and wood chipping, I've got a load of stumps that do need grinding. So, let's take this slightly noisy machine to field 17. Does it run at 9 miles an hour? Now I'm sure there are going to be people watching this that within minutes that squeaking is going to annoy them like... I mean too fast. 
hasn't quite got that clamp I was hoping for, but it's an old clamper. That's better. Inside, way better. That's the trick. Stay inside. Now, because I did my video yesterday on Lone Oak Farm, and it was Halloween, uh, Giants did their usual where all the people walk around the match are zombies. On Lone Oak Farm, there's nobody really walking about, so there wasn't anyone on my video that was a zombie. Um, one of those things just happened to be the map I was on that day. Um, yeah. And also, I posted on Twitter and on Facebook, 17,000 subscribers, thank you. This is kind of, well, it's not a 17,000 subscribers special, but, yeah, 17,000 subscribers. That is just, wow, blown away. Seriously blown away. Now, I can't remember how low this needs to go. Let's drop it down a bit. Put the plough out, and I need to go L1 triangle to create fields. Question is, did that work? It did, you beauty. Right, so, don't want to do that the whole time, do I? Let's allow create fields off. So that's weird, isn't it? I don't know why. Lift that. So I need to get... No, I mean it's going outside again, sorry. <laughs> Let's get further away from it. Not really much better, is it? I'm going to slow this and then we will cultivate it. Promise I won't. Let's drop that down. Yeah. So this bit, it does it need, need to allow crate fields. There we go. Yeah, why did I not think of that before? If I just harm this on the top, then maybe I'll go here. I do like it regardless, I think it's brilliant. A new addition to join the flock. wasn't it? One, two, three, that bit there, that bit there. I don't think there's anything further across the field. I mean, to be fair, I could expand this field if I wanted to. I've got room down the side. I can stick another strip in if I wanted to. Um, I could do, couldn't I? It's quieter. I don't know why it's quieter. Although, yes, it is a cab. It's not really closed in, is it? Let's be honest. It's anything but closed in. It's still noisy, but not as bad. I love it. No, nothing else is there. Right.
Now what we'll do <laughs> before anyone goes insane and jumps out of their window and all that, I'm going to pull this over to the side of the field. I'm going to take it back to the yard because all the trees I cut down are over in that direction over there. Um, so this track's going to have to go over there to clear those stumps anyway. Um, so it's, it's pointless me taking it back to the yard just to drive it all the way back over again. <laughs> Maybe it's what it's such a good idea. If anyone comments how annoying the squeaking is, I know, it's not, like, it's not a surprise. That's far more than I thought. <laughs> oh, that down. Just so down the issues. But there we go. New toy for the farm. Even if I have to wear headphones, ear defenders, to use it. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? So the trouble is I always look around and I think when I'm doing certain things I think that would make a brilliant thumbnail that would make a brilliant screenshot that I mean let's be honest that's going to give it away <laughs> unless I just come right in and just have that but that's still going to give it away isn't it let's be honest anyway um, right what do I need to do now uh, slurrying let's get that slurry tank uh, spreader sprayer um, and get this slurried when that runs out then we'll move on to the modulo and uh, get this field turned. He says, now what shall I use for, actually I can probably get rid of this, can I? Yeah. Common with the horsepower requirement is not very much that gallon, it's quite small isn't it? Without killing the chickens, there we go. Nice, right. I mustn't forget to take those forks back. The weird thing I found actually with this, this has got front loader attachment. And I put on the Massey Ferguson forks just to move them out of the way so I could get to the bale spike, which is in the front of here. When I backed out to get away from off of them, it got hooked up, it got caught, and it wouldn't disconnect properly. I ended up dragging it halfway around the yard before it came off. So later on when we go, whenever we go in whichever episode, you'll see the Massey Ferguson front loader is to one side. So I thought it's obviously because that's the Massey designed for a Massey. It did it the same with the stole. I used them and when I backed out of here it got caught up again. Don't know what it is. Just one of those kind of mod uh, issues you get every now and again this place. It does happen. Believe it or not. So let's hook up. Fantastic. We have 8,000 litres. Let's get it done. Cock a doodle do indeed. this exactly so let's go for about here probably about right actually where the field does cut in a little bit here yeah so I don't think I'm going to get this entire field done on this one load I like the fact it bumps over the plow a bit look so cool I mean the dynamics on this are brilliant I just can't imagine I'm trying to get my head around what they're going to be like on 19 um, someone asked me whether, if I've decided what map I'm going to do when 19 comes out. You know what? I really, I really don't know. Um, I can't imagine there'll be any modded maps on the day of release. I wouldn't have thought because they want people to play their maps. I mean, that's kind of obvious, and they look amazing. Um, I have got any real preference, in all honesty. They look fantastic, so I think on the release day it'll be a case of having a look whether I'll do first look map tools maybe, that might not be a bad idea. Kind of familiarise yourself with the maps um, and then you kind of have the option then of picking from that point. You know, it'll be a case of which one kind of calls out to me as the one I think I'd like to be on first. I don't know, in all honesty, that, that's the honest answer. Not sure. 
we'll kind of see how it all pans out but um yeah i don't know oh, i should have gone the other way shouldn't i i'll just drive round and round in circles in this field uh, if i go from this way then i don't get stuck at the other end when the tractor hits the fence do i i think that would be kind of logical wouldn't it? in the first place so let's get back up to this end I'll get a set of worker off and I'll go and get the uh so I'll go and get the cultivator. Uh, do we have one? Or have I just been using the grass and harrows? No I haven't, have I? Surely I wouldn't have done that. I mean that doesn't mean anything, does it mean you saying surely? The mine's gone blank. Okay, let's line that up, and off you go. Cool. So it looks like the um, Modulo 2 is going to get pressed into service earlier than we thought. Well, I say not earlier than we thought. If it's going to get pressed into service, that much is obvious. Have a look in the tank. going down cool this requires 150 horsepower modulo 2 so this has got to be pulled on the on the uh, fabric I'm on blank then it's pretty cool again FS19 we're going to have a couple of Fent favourites. Uh, is it 500 and 800? I can't remember what we... Again, there have been so many fact sheets. I've done the fact sheet Fridays. Can't remember them all. Um, yeah, in game. That's going to be fantastic. We did a fair chunk of the field with the other one. The Garrett has gone. That has been sold. Let's get the size of this right. Uh, let's open it up. So I get my width right. Actually, it's not far off, is it? Pretty good. And then it's just. And off we go. It's wider than the one we had before. But then, because it's wider, it will appear to be going down quicker, but it is covering a bigger area while it's doing it, so, yeah. Now what I do need to do very quickly is this bit here that I didn't quite manage to do. Spin that round. I remember the cultivator, of course. We've got the uh, the fortress, haven't we? The little fortress. Brilliant little thing. Right, so what I'll do then. Back this back up. Or just back this up. And let's get the work carrying on. I'll go and grab that fortress, and then we can start um, cultivating the right of where I am now while this carries on. This may need refilling, I don't know. One thing I don't like, and I don't know if you can see that on your screen, is these certain textures you get, especially these ones after you've harvested, I get a lot of like screen flicker. I don't know if it's picking up or on yours, but on my TV screen especially, there's a lot of flicker. Let's jump out of there, let the work carry on. Should turn around all right. And the Massey has got the fortress on the back already. We are good to go. For once, for once, everything has worked out how I hoped it would. I wasn't sure about the Rayboard, Xylor, and I thought... You know what will happen, I'll get it and it will turn out it requires certain horsepower and the Fiat won't be able to run it. But to be fair, no horsepower requirement for a 3 metre plough. That's not bad. <laughs> you can't odds that. I've noticed I've done that a lot. Isn't it weird how every now and again you'll, you'll go through a series of videos and you'll say the same, you know, little tagline, strap line, quote, whatever it is, kind of pops into your head. Last few episodes I've done, I've realised I've been doing that whistle when something's been, when something surprised me. I don't know why. It's just happening. So anyway, yes, yeah, field 17. 
will be done. Those bits have been ploughed out, they are now being cultivated out, it's been slurried, they'll be ready for seeding. All is good in Upper Lusatia. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Still enjoying playing this map. I'm still enjoying Farming Simulator. I'm still enjoying No Note Farm. It's all just brilliant. Um, if you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.